All right. So this afternoon, I'm going to talk about our upcoming A2L transition and give some more information as to what products you can look forward to and uh, approximately when they're going to be available and also when all the literature and everything should be available up on our website. If you haven't heard, GREE is going to move forward with refrigerant R32, and there's a lot of reasons behind that. And here a little bit later in the show, we're going to bring up our new misnomer, and we're going to talk about common myths in the industry and have a little bit of a, a heated debate about that. But for now, we'll talk about why we went R32. So R32 overall is just a better refrigerant. It's going to have a little more capacity, a little better efficiency, should be more readily available and less expensive. Reason for that, it's been uh, in production for a long time throughout the globe, and there's no active patent on it currently. We understand that cost can be uh, quite the concern for some consumers, so it's going to be uh, a little less expensive for you. And also, it just has a long track record of use across the globe. You know, R32 has been in production and use for many, many, many years, whereas some of these new refrigerants coming out, you know, they're brand new. They really don't have a long record of, of usage at all in, in, in the field. So uh, we feel overall that R32 was the direction to move in. All right, this is our ductless product lineup that you're going to see for the new R32 refrigerant. Most of you should be familiar with a lot of these products. We're going to have our entry tier Levo, our mid tier Vireo, and of course our high tier, most efficient model Sapphire. One of the new products that we have added in the one one ductless is the Invo, and that is the product that you can mount the accessory fresh air kit to uh, for those applications requiring outside air. And then, of course, we have the multi-zone product that's going to be available. The one-to-one -one models, Levo, Vero, Invo, and Sapphire, those are going to be available for replenishment orders in June. And the multi-zone, that's going to be available for replenishment order in July. Now, all of these models are going to utilize our new compressor design uh, for low vibration. And, of course, all the indoor units for these will have that R32 leak detection sensor you know, for safety, UL requirements, all that stuff. So no worries about any kind of UL or, or code issues there with, with our indoor units. Now, when I talk about these units being available in June or July, what I mean is these are for replenishment orders, Container Direct. So if you're a customer who purchases Container Direct, you can order these products in your containers in June or July as indicated. Now, with regards to Tradewinds inventory, we will be placing the replenishment orders for these products in probably towards the end of July. And with the current production and shipping turnaround, that will probably put them in our barn, you know, late October-ish. So if you purchase direct from our inventory, we won't have these new R32 products available until probably October. For now, we're running through the summer with the current R410A uh, models. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, and this is our flex lineup for new R32 refrigerant. Uh, we have the high tier ultra heat model that's gonna be available for replenishment orders in June. So basically this is gonna be the true successor to the original flex that we released. We made a lot of good improvements to this product. And I think uh, most people are gonna really enjoy it. Then we have our entry tier eco flex and that's gonna be available in late September for replenishment orders. I do know we've got plenty of the 410A models uh, in stock for the Flex Eco. So if you've not tried that out, you, you know, haven't seen it before, talk to your sales rep about that 410A model, and then they'll be happy to get you some information on that. Okay, this is the new X-Pack for R32. It's gonna be an ultra heat model available in two, three, four, and five tons. And that one will be ready for replenishment orders by October, 2024. Currently the 410A model is available and it is a container direct product as of right now. We don't currently stock it. If that's something that you're interested in, want us to have in stock, please reach out to your, your sales team, let them know we can bring that in for you. All right, this is our multi-pro lineup, the R32 multi-pro product, that's going to be available in uh, October. So as of right now, we're kind of running through with our uh, 410A product, and this will change over in October. 
we're going to have the standard heat pump models in two, two and a half, three, four, and five ton. We will have the ultra heat available in three, four, and five ton. All the new indoor units with the refrigerant leak detection sensors in them. And then, of course, we're going to offer our brand new dual fuel A coil that can pair third party gas furnaces in October as well. So with that product, we're just working on the, uh, the controls, the safeties, and, and all that stuff. So that's, that's currently in development. All right, three-phase VRF, the top discharge. We're looking at having our dual model heat pump slash heat recovery and a standard heat available in 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14-ton chassis. That'll be available for order in December of 2024. Now that product's kind of you know, hitting right on the cusp of that transition. Uh, but we will have some 410A stuff in the barn ready to go. So if you have a product that you need to get out for a project and you know, really quick, we're going to have the 410A model. We can take advantage of that sell-through period next year uh, while we wait on the 32 product to get into uh, the country. And then we'll also have the 6, 8, and 10-ton ultra heat models uh, available as well. We're working on those. All right. Now this is kind of like the big thing because I know everybody wants us to... Now look at the literature, see the specs and see what's going on with everything. So here's kind of the timeline for all of the literature updates that are going to be happening. So with our product specifications that we get directly from the factory and the Excel files available now, we have the Levo, Vireo, Invo, Sapphire, Flex Ultra, and then of course the, the PTAX and the through the wall units that uh, those two we released last year. So we have the specs on, on those models now. In June, we expect to see the specifications on the multi-zone. And then, of course, in September, we're going to see those late developed products like the Flex Eco, the Flex Acoil, Multipro, X-Pack, et cetera. R32 AHRI certificates in June, the Levo, Vario, Invo, Flex Ultra, PTAC, TTW should be available on the database. In July, we expect to see the Sapphire in the multi-zone. And then, of course, later in October, we see those other products. The submittals should be available for the Vireo, Levo, Invo, Sapphire, et cetera, at the end of June. In July, we should have the multi-zone submittals available, and then in October, everything else. Same thing with the sales brochures. We're looking at mid-June for most of the ductless products. July from the multi-zone, and then, of course, uh, October for those other late-developed products. Parts manuals, same way. R32 service manuals. Uh, installation manuals, most of those are going to show up in July and then in October for the other products. And on our extended ratings tables, again, July for most of the one-to-one -one and multi-zone and the Flex Ultra, October for everything else. And then on our website itself, we're going to have the R32 product pages built and posted on the website for the Levo, Vario, Sapphire, Flex Ultra by the end of June. Multi-zone will be up and ready to go in July. And then for all the other products, we should have that up and running in October. So once we get those web pages um, built out on the website and put up, we're going to take all that literature, just like we always do, and we're going to post it under those product pages. So it's there, ready to go, very easy for you to get to. In the meantime, if you have something come up where you do need to look at any of these other manuals, brochures, et cetera, reach out. And, um, you know, if it's available, we can provide that to you. Uh, if not, uh, we'll just like, I'll let you know, like where we're at, uh, in the timeline of things. So, and that's all I've got for the A2L update. Hope everybody's excited. I know we are. We look forward to, to seeing what happens. So James, back to you.